Well, you know, there's two categories of foreclosures um, from my observation. You got all of these people that were already in foreclosure before uh, the pandemic came along, uh, you know, in March, 2020. And mm -hmm. then uh, pandemic comes along and now you got this whole nother new category of uh, people in foreclosure that are in foreclosure or will be in foreclosure because of going on unemployment or whatever. But I agree with you, Colin. I don't believe we're going to see what we saw with the glut of uh, foreclosures as we saw back in 2007, eight and nine, that was mm -hmm. a, a, diff a different scenario. And plus when those foreclosures came along way back then, we didn't have the low inventory like we've got right now. Yeah. And, and, and not only that, but it's very difficult to envision a situation, certainly in Florida, where huge amounts of people will be underwater on their mortgage, where the value of the amount of money they owe on the property is higher than the value of the property. We saw a lot of that in 2009, 10 and 11, where people had $200,000 mortgages on a house that was now worth 130. So that's nobody's going to sell that. I mean, you're probably it's going to end up in a foreclosure more likely than not. But nowadays you have a lot of people that can't pay their mortgage, but it might be $200,000 mortgage, but the house is worth maybe 250 or 280. So as long as people aren't, you know, those who don't have their head in the sand uh, will just list that property for sale and, and start renting somewhere. And unfortunately you do have a lot of people with heads in their sand through, you know, just death, drugs, divorces, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. And they just refuse to pay their mortgage, refuse to list their house for sale, refuse to face reality. You're just going to be a ton of those coming out. But for the regular folks that just lost their jobs, can't pay their mortgage, but are, are not totally, you know, unattached to reality, the easy thing to do is list the house for sale because it doesn't really matter how, what condition it's in, uh, you know, you're, you're more than likely going to be able to sell it for more than the mortgage value, unless something changes pretty dramatically.